promises to be an exciting affair. Vickers Fortkitter, Liam Verby, Martin Benadel, Peter Garcia, Ian Fenter, Andrew Ross, Clayton Jimmy, and Ruud van Rienen. Young Peter Kutsia in lane four. And they're in the water. Very fast in lane eight is Ruat van Rienen. But it is Peter Kutsia who edges ahead. Martin Benadel, certainly no slouch. The veteran looking very, very strong, but it is Peter Kutsia. Look at him go. Already a body length clear of the competitors. Peter Kutsia, watch him in lane four. He'll take the victory in an astounding time. We wait for his confirmation. 27.32 is that time. 27.32. A brilliant time for Peter Kutsia. Peter's doing a lot of the work, but the officials making sure that uh, the competitors stick to the rules, stick to their lanes, don't jump too early. Host of rules that they have to follow as we prepare for event number one of the finals this evening on this beautiful Thursday night. And the first event of the evening, it is the finals, the B final of the women's 100 freestyle. Carla Meekler, Emma Frank, Taylor Lovemore, Kate DeLunger, Caitlin DeLunger, Veronique Rousseau, Bianca Opperman, Kate Mayer, and Emma Kuhn. It's a big one. One of the marquee events, certainly 100 meter freestyle. There we have the lineup from all across South Africa. A lot of counting swimmers there, some from KZN, a local swimmer in Kate Mayer. She did very well earlier today, in fact. And support from swimmers, unfortunately no fans allowed due to COVID regulations, but that has not taken away from the event whatsoever. Exciting times ahead. Events scheduled to get underway at 6 o'clock, and we're about to hit that mark exactly. So very well prepared as the first event of the night takes place. And they're away. Good start from Taylor Lovemore as well as Caitlin DeLanger. Two lengths of the pool in this 100-meter B freestyle final. And away they go. Nothing to choose between the front three in lanes three, four, and five. Lovemore, DeLanger, and Rousseau at the turn. And I think DeLanger got there first. In fact, it was, uh, yes, it was. Veronique Rousseau just ahead of DeLanger, followed by Taylor Lovemore at the turn. So around 25 meters to go and pulling away. Over in lane three, terrific effort from Taylor Lovemore so far. Caitlin DeLanger looking good. But yeah, in lane six, look at this go. It is Boronik Rousseau. Who gets there first? Bianca Opperman out of nowhere coming through ahead of Veronique Rousseau. And Caitlin DeLanger finishes off the top three. A terrific effort all round. And look at that, AGCs for the top three. Took swimmers dominating matters in that. Bianca Opperman, Veronique Rousseau, and Caitlin DeLanger. Jeez, that was impressive. Swane swimmers looking very, very good. And Bianca Opperman coming from behind to take the win. That was sensational. 57.45 her time. She'll be ecstatic with that performance. Now we get ready for a marquee event here, the men's 100 meter final, the A final. Everybody wants to win this race. Oh. Going through these names. Who's who of South Africa's swimming fraternity? Simon Haddon, Matthew Bosch, Dougie Rasmus, Matthew Sates, Guy Brooks, Clayton Jimmy, Gabriel Mokia, and uh, Luca Holzhausen. Matthew Sates, uh, a tremendous prospect. Absolutely, he's got so much talent and uh, you can basically throw him into any race and he can swim it. So it's awesome to see that a youngster like that is stepping up at uh, 
at uh, trials like this and uh, coming in as first uh, qualifier. Oh. Matthew Zetz coming in with a prelim time of 49.97. Definitely the one to look out for over in lane four. But he'll be tested. Guy Brooks on his outside. Douglas Erasmus too. Plenty of KZN swimmers. In fact, seven of the eight of them are. Simon Haddon, the only one representing the Western Cape. Get ready. This is going to be quick. Remember that Olympic qualifying time, 48.57. Great start from Sates on first, quickly followed by Brooks. And they are away. Matthew Sates with a very good start. Hard to miss the bright yellow cap in lane four. The giant S emblazoned on the side. It doesn't stand for Sates, but it could. And you can see him ready, he's breaking away. Meanwhile, over in lane five, Guy Brooks looking very strong too. Matthew Sates first at the turn, as expected. Douglas Erasmus in second position. Closely followed by Gabriel Nokia, but there is the bright yellow cap of Matthew Sates. And he continues to power on. Look at him go, pulling away from his competitors now. Over in lane three, Gabriel Nokia looking strong, but it is Matthew Sates more than a body length away. He will grab the victory and the time 49.29. Wow, outside Olympic qualifying time, inside the Olympic standard time, but Matthew Sates, 49. 0.29. That was superb, yeah? Absolutely amazing. I mean, from the start, uh, amazing start, solid breakout. And um, just coming off that wall in the last 50 was amazing to see him pulling away from everybody. And uh, uh, yeah, confidently better than his earlier time uh, that he set this morning, 49.97. That's correct. And uh, Doug Erasmus uh, changed here. Uh, he's uh, swimming up a little bit. Uh, he went out really hard this morning at 23 on his feet. And uh, to this evening he turned on 24.04, so he tried to change it up a little bit. Were you happy with that race, Matt? Yeah, yeah, it was a good race. Uh, very happy with it, and uh, it's a special race because racing next to Dagger Rasmus and everything. Uh, my training partner, also. So to race against him and to be part of his 103 years was awesome to do. So here we have the big one. Men's 200 fly. There's that man in image, Chad Leclerc. We'll never forget that astounding performance. 2012 London, edging the most decorated Olympian of all time, Michael Phelps, to the wall. Going through the lineup, Ron Scar Winter, Benjamin Plantner, Plantner, Ross Hardigan, Ethan Dupria, who beat Leclerc earlier today, Brandon Chapman, and Liam Verby. But it is lanes four and five that we can expect a victor. Could we? Could we see an outsider coming in here? What do you reckon, Theo? I think it will go to the middle three. Okay. Uh, three, four, and five. They'll battle it out. Okay, so you heard it here first. Ross Harding and Ethan Dupree and Chandler Clow are the expected favorites. And away they go. The biggest event of the night so far, the men's 200 fly finals. And a great start from Dupria. And look at that on his outside. Very, very good in breath. Wow. Superb start. Over in lane five, it is Chad Leclerc. Who can miss him? He's got a point to prove, does the veteran. Ethan Dupria on his outside in lane four. And Leclerc continues to power on. But remember, Ethan Dupree's finish very, very good. Look at that face. It's a face that South African fans have uh, gotten used to over the years. Dupree gaining in on him, but Leclerc looking strong. And he makes the second turn of the night. Followed by Dupree with Ross Hardigan in third. Leclerc continues to power forward. Dupria, Leclerc looking strong, Theo. He's looking strong, but uh, Ethan is coming through right now. Uh, he's catching up. Uh, it's going to come down to this turn. He's got to put the pressure on Chad. And here we go. Yes, what a comeback from Dupria. Who's going to touch first? It is almost neck and neck, but uh, Dupria has edged ahead. And here we go. 
the final length. Plenty of underwater speed, and look at this comeback from Leclerc. Wow. Amazing turn. This is a sensational finish in the men's 200 fly. Leclerc, Dupreer, Leclerc, Dupreer. Who's going to do it? Leclerc looking over his shoulder. He's just ahead. He continues to power through. Dupreer is right there. Leclerc is in front. Leclerc will do it. The Olympian continues his winning form. What a swim from Chad Leclerc ahead of Ethan Dupreer. Wow, 155.88. That was superb, Theo. Amazing swims from both of those guys. Uh, both qualified. Um, oh. That's amazing. We've never seen two qualifiers in 200 fly. Both so qualified. That qualifying time, 156.48. Dupreer, 156.44. Leclerc, 155.88. They have both qualified with Olympic times. That is sensational. Look at that smile across his face. He took his foot off the gas today, but he realized, you know, it's not going to be taken away from me. I am the man who holds this spot. And yeah, you're going to have to fight for it every inch of the way and proving it once again. Look at those times. Amazing. Um, it's been a long time that I've uh, wanted to, to have seen the race like that, and I'm just glad to sit here and actually watch it firsthand. So very privileged. Chad Leclerc, 155.88. Ethan Dupreer, 156.44. Two Olympians in this event here. It's amazing. <laughs> um, I'm so happy to see that. Yo, yo, yo. So they booked their spot for Tokyo. Jeez, that is uh, undoubtedly the, the race of, uh, of the event so far. I mean, we spoke about it tonight, but jeez, what a finish. Chad Leclerc living up to his name. That was incredible. Congratulations to them. Look at those two. Hugs all round. Chad, of course, winning the race. He'd be happy with that, but uh, equally happy. I mean, these guys know each other very, very well as far as they are competitors. Um, also, team, or well, they will be teammates for South Africa soon. Absolutely, and uh, you know, Chad has got all the experience in the world um, as Olympian, and now he's in Debris as uh, the, the follow up, and uh, he's absolutely amazing. So much talent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I honestly felt much better, more people to watch me race. It made me feel more confident, gave me more, more, more motivation to do better. If I'm being very honest, I was quite nervous tonight. Uh, Ethan beat me a couple of weeks ago, so we've been training together the last couple of months. So, uh, you know, I was just happy to, to get the qualifying time firstly and to get the win. Uh, I'm very happy for Ethan, you know, he, he's a big deserving competitor, you know, 17 years old, still in high school, qualified twice now for the Olympic Games. So he deserves a huge round of applause and uh, yeah, I'm just very happy to be back racing at, at, at a good pace, you know, I think, uh, you know, my turn of flight struggled the last couple of years, so this was a good step in the right direction, you know, and obviously I'm going to get faster as each meet comes along, you know, heading into Olympic Games, so I'm very excited. More SA National Swimming Championships and Olympic and Paralympic trials in future programs. I'm Derek Albert, stay safe and thank you for watching.